Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man Snowball Beer Reviews. Uh, today I have another beer from Roundabout Brewing Company out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I have a crowler of it because I filled this up with the, uh, or so I have a growler of it because I filled it up with the crowler um, from a tasting that I took it to earlier today. Uh, so it's still carbonated, but uh, wasn't completely full, so I filled it up in here. But I, I did that because I wanted to do a proper review of it. Uh, it is their uh, Jacked Up O'Lantern Stout. So it's I guess it's their pumpkin stout, but I don't, I'm pretty sure there's no pumpkin in it. I think it's just uh, cinnamon, coffee, and there might be a little bit of other pumpkin spices in it. But I'm pretty sure there's no actual pumpkin in it. Uh, so in my opinion, that's a good thing. And it's not overly spicy either, at least other times I've had it. Uh, so we'll see what we got here. Um, and it is, if I remember correctly, uh, 5.6 ABV. Now, I'm not going to comment on the head because, like I said, I did open this a little bit earlier today. Uh, but it does still have a little bit of head. It's a, you know, beige, pretty standard head. Uh, it pours pretty dark brown, not quite black, but, you know, for a 5.6 porter, it's uh, pretty standard. So the aroma <clears throat> is a good bit of coffee. Um, there's definitely some cinnamon there too. I'm not sure that I get any other um, spices. That's kind of why I was saying that I think it's just cinnamon and coffee. I don't know for sure, but to me it's mainly just cinnamon and coffee, which is definitely not a bad thing. I mean, the, the flavor follows suit. Uh, the really nice thing about it is not only do you get... You get cinnamon and coffee up front, which is really nice. You get the flavors that you expect. But there is a really nice underlying, like, dark chocolate roasty character. Like, not coffee roast, but, like, roasty from the beer. Roasted malt, dark chocolate character. Which, um, you know... Some of the uh, pumpkin stouts or coffee, cinnamon, whatever stouts that you have don't really have, you know, they're, they're, <clears throat> they're not a good beer first and then they add the adjuncts. <clears throat> they're just like, we want something that tastes like this. What can we make, <clears throat> sorry, to serve as a vessel to have those flavors. But this, you can tell that the underlying base beer is actually a pretty good beer. Sorry, got an itchy eye. Um, because you do definitely get the coffee and the cinnamon, but there is a nice dark chocolate uh, roasty character underneath it. And again, like I said, I did open this earlier today, but the carbonation's still really nice. Uh, I mean, it's not super thick, but it's not meant to be. It's five and a half percent. It's supposed to be a really nice, easy drink of beer. Uh, and in my opinion, that's exactly what it is. I, so I know I'm a huge homer for these guys, for gentlemen, but when it comes to like coffee, cinnamon, seasonal, fall, whatever you want to call it, uh, stouts in Pittsburgh, I don't know which one I would say is better between this and Mexican coffee from for gentlemen. But I would say that I think they're very comparable. Very, very comparable. I think they're both both very, very good. Uh, I don't know which one I would say I like better. I, I think they're both really similar, to be honest. Um, I might even, just having had the, the Mexican coffee, say that this is a little better. Only because I think the Mexican coffee had a little more cinnamon, a little less coffee. I think this is a little more coffee forward, which I... I like that. I love coffee stout, so I might think this is better, but regardless, they're both really, really good beers. Um, this is definitely a buy for me. They have crowlers of it now, but I don't know how long how long they're going to have them because it's a, uh, you know, a fall seasonal, so if it sounds interesting to you, definitely hit up someone from Pittsburgh to get it. It's probably not going to be around very long. It's a very, very good beer, um, and I'm excited that, uh, that they're keep making it every fall, and I'm definitely gonna every every fall when I go up there for Thanksgiving, 
hope that they still have it by Thanksgiving. Thank God they did this time. I'm definitely going to get more of it. So I think that's all I got in this guy. So please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.